In this problem, I am going to find out the binding energy of iron and bispath nuclei. So, I am going to divide this problem into two parts and first of all, I am going to find out the binding energy of iron. So, we know that binding energy that is equal to delta m times c square where delta m is the mass defect and delta m is the theoretical mass minus the experimental mass which we calculate it from mass spectrometer. So, we also know that theoretical mass is the sum of masses of protons and neutrons. So, ion has 26 protons which is equal to the atomic number and mass number minus this that means 30 neutrons are the number of neutrons in the ion nuclei. So, mass of neutron times 30 plus 26 times the mass of the protons and minus the experimental mass turns out to be 55.934939 AMU or U which is already given to us. So, these masses are the experimental masses and now you need not to multiply it by C square right because we know that 1 AMU energy sorry 1 AMU mass is equivalent to 931.5 MeV. So, we are simply going to cross multiply this. We are not going to substitute the value of C as 3 into 10 raise to 8 meter per second. Okay. That would become our problem that will make our problem more lengthier. So, mass of the neutron and the mass of the protons are already given on the top part of the page where we are solving the numerical. So, let us substitute those values. So, 30 into mass of neutron 1.008. 665 plus 26 the mass of the proton that is 1.007825 minus 55.934939. Uh, please make sure that do not round off these numbers whatever it is given. Please substitute that. Do not try to round off the numbers because very small amount of mass even matters over here. So, this answer turns out to be 0 0.528461 AMU or simply U. Now, we know that 1 AMU is equal to this much amount of energy. So, the binding energy is 0 0.528461 multiplied by 931.5. Now, this answer turns out to be 492.26 MEV. This is the answer to our problem. And this is part A that we have solved. Now, let us go for the second part. Now, please make sure that this is the total binding energy. So, if we are being asked the uh, binding energy per nucleon, then we will have to divide this by uh, total number of nucleons that is 56. And that answer would be about 8.79 MeV because we have to divide the entire binding energy with the mass number. So, there are 56 nucleons. So, binding energy per nucleon would be this one. Let us continue with the B part. Again, the same part delta M I need to calculate. And since we are being given bismuth 83209, so we have 83 protons plus we have uh, 209 minus 83 that turns out to be 126 neutrons mass of neutron minus the experimental mass of the bismuth correct and substituting all these values Now, if you calculate this, you will get your answer as 1.760877 atomic mass unit or simply U. Now, binding energy is delta M times C square. Again, using delta M as 
0.0877 times 931.5. This will be our answer in MEV, which is about 1640.26 MEV. Now, there are total 209 nucleons inside the nucleus. So, if I am asked to find binding energy per nucleon, I am supposed to divide this number by 209, which is about 7.848 MeV per nucleon. So, this is our binding energy per nucleon.